the steel production comprises of the accompanying three stages, diminishing iron metal, refining pig iron to steel and framing the steel into items. The materials used to create pig iron are coal, limestone and iron metal. The coal, after change to coke, supplies carbon used to lessen iron oxides in the mineral. Limestone is utilized to assist with eliminating pollutants. Proceeding decrease, the convergence of iron in the mineral is expanded by pounding and dousing the metal. The iron is attractively separated from the waste, and the extricated material is shaped into pellets and terminated. The handled mineral contains about 65% iron. Decrease of the metal to pig iron is refined in an impact heater. The metal is warmed within the site of carbon. Oxygen in the metal responds with carbon to shake gases. Emotion is utilized to assist with eliminating contaminations. The liquid iron, with an abundance of carbon in arrangement, gathers at the lower part of the heater. The contaminations, slag, drift on top of the liquid pig iron. The overabundance carbon, alongside different debasements, should be taken out to deliver top-notch steel. Utilizing a similar refining measure, scrap steel can be reused. Two sorts of heaters are utilized for refining pig iron to steel are essential oxygen and electric bend. The essential oxygen heaters eliminate overabundance carbon by responding the carbon with oxygen to frame gases. Spears course oxygen through the liquid material. The cycle is preceded until all debasements are eliminated and the ideal carbon content is accomplished. Electric heaters utilize an electric bend between carbon terminals to soften and refine the steel. These plants require a colossal measure of energy and are utilized fundamentally to reuse scrap steel. Electric heaters are often utilized in minimills, which produce a restricted scope of items. In this cycle, liquid steel is moved to the spoon. Alloying components and extra specialists can be added either in the heater or the spoon. During the steel creation measure, oxygen might become broken down in the fluid metal. As the steel hardens, the oxygen can join with carbon to frame carbon monoxide bubbles that are caught in the steel and can go about as inception focuses for disappointment. Deoxidizing specialists, like aluminum, ferrosilicon and manganese, can dispose of the development of the carbon monoxide bubbles. Totally deoxidized prepares are known as killed prepares. Prepares that are for the most part killed include those with a carbon content more noteworthy than 0.25% all producing grades of prepares underlying prepares with carbon content somewhere in the range of 0.15 and 0.25% some exceptional steel in the lower carbon ranges. Despite the refining system, the liquid steel, with the ideal synthetic creation, is then either cast into ingots, huge squares of steel, or cast consistently into an ideal shape. Persistent projecting with hot rolling is turning into the standard creation strategy, since it is more energy effective than projecting ingots, as the ingots should be warmed before molding the steel into the end result. Cold framed steel is created from sheets or loops of hot moved steel which is shaped into shape either through press slowing down spaces sheared from sheets or curls, or all the more regularly, by roll forming the steel through a progression of kicks the bucket. No warmth is needed to frame the shapes, and in this way the name cold framed steel. Cold shaped steel individuals and different items are more slender, lighter, and simpler to deliver, and normally cost not exactly their hot moved partners. Construction is one of the most important steel using industries, accounting for more than 50% of world steel demand. Buildings, from houses to car parks to schools and skyscrapers, rely on steel for their strength. Steel is also used on roofs and as cladding for exterior walls. The world's population is expected to increase by 2 billion persons in the next 30 years, from 7.7 .7 billion currently to 9.7 billion in 2050, according to a new United Nations report launched in 2019. This will be accompanied by rapid urbanization. As the need for buildings and infrastructure continues to grow worldwide, reducing consumption of natural resources and associated emissions is crucial for future sustainability. Whilst the operation of buildings accounts for 28% of global CO2 emission, 
one they also present many opportunities for reducing emissions and mitigating climate change. Steelmakers around the world are increasingly providing construction solutions that enable energy-efficient and low-carbon neutral buildings. For example in the HAMK Sheet Metal Center Finland, a near-zero energy building NZEB, steel solutions brought down the cost of electricity and district heating to €5,200 per annum from €12,400 reference building. Not only is steel affordable, readily available and safer, its intrinsic properties, such as strength, versatility, durability and 100% recyclability allow for improved environmental performance across the entire life cycle of buildings. The advanced high-strength steels used in steel plate applications also find uses in a number of related industries. Offshore oil rigs, bridges, civil engineering and construction machines, rail carriages, tanks and pressure vessels, nuclear, thermal and hydroelectric plants, all these applications benefit from the attributes of modern steels. How steel is used in buildings and infrastructure The possibilities for using steel in buildings and infrastructure are limitless. The most common applications are listed below. For building structural sections, these provide a strong, stiff frame for the building and make up 25% of the steel use in buildings. Reinforcing bars, these add tensile strength and stiffness to concrete and make up 44% of steel use in buildings. Steel is used because it binds well to concrete, has a similar thermal expansion coefficient and is strong and relatively cost-effective. Reinforced concrete is also used to provide deep foundations and basements and is currently the world's primary building material. Sheet products, 31% is in sheet products such as roofing, purlins, internal walls, ceilings, cladding, and insulating panels for exterior walls. Non-structural steel. Steel is also found in many non-structural applications in buildings, such as heating and cooling equipment and interior ducting. Internal fixtures and fittings such as rails, shelving and stairs are also made of steel. For infrastructure transport networks, steel is required for bridges, tunnels, rail track and in constructing buildings such as fueling stations, train stations, ports and airports. About 60% of steel use in this application is as rebar and the rest is sections, plates and rail track. Utilities, fuel, water, power over 50% of the steel used for this application is in underground pipelines to distribute water to and from housing, and to distribute gas. The rest is mainly rebar for power stations and pumping houses. Types Some common types of steel buildings are straight-walled, and arch, or Nissan or concert hut. For further, the structural type may be classed as clear span or multiple span. A clear span building does not have structural supports, e.g. columns, in the interior occupied space. Straight-walled and arch type refer to the outside shape of the building. More generally, these are both structural arch forms if they rely on a rigid frame structure. However, curved roof structures are typically associated with the arch term. Steel arch buildings may be cost efficient for specific applications. They are commonly used in the agricultural industry. Straight walled buildings provide more usable space when compared to arch buildings. They are also easier to blend into existing architecture. Straight walled buildings are commonly used for commercial, industrial, and many other occupancy types. Clear span refers to the internal construction. Clear span steel buildings utilize large overhead support beams, thus reducing the need for internal supporting columns. Clear span steel buildings tend to be less cost efficient than structures with interior columns. However, other practical considerations may influence the selection of framing styles such as an occupancy where interior structural obstructions are undesirable, e.g. aircraft hangars or sport arenas. 5. Long bay buildings are designed for use in bay spans of over 35. They use prefabricated metal frames combined with conventional joists to provide larger openings and clearances in buildings.